the older I get, the less I blink. The older I get, the less I cry. I get, I guess. Interesting. I don't know. I cry about the same amount, honestly. I'm a cry baby. I'm a cancer yeah. moon. Oh yeah. But I ain't crying out loud. I cry in the shower. You don't even know what I'm crying. You I can have guests. I go in the shower, cry, 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 come out. I feel like the older I get, like the more just unfazed I'm gonna be by life. So like I'm probably I'm gonna be like not I'm I'm not very emotional. A, yes, now. of course you're not. That's why I feel like the older <laughs> I get, it's just gonna get more and more solid. Like it's my tear ducts are just gonna dry up like y'all bitches do that for me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, understood. I can't believe I actually blinked when I was younger. (laughs) Ah, okay. This is hilarious. Okay. I have always, (laughs) I have always had really big feet. Right? Okay, La Cienega. Yes. And they used to call me that too. They look normal. They look normal now. I don't know. Maybe I grew into them. But they were always really big. And when I was younger, right, because they used to flame me for having really big feet. So then I would get, like, either smaller shoes or, like, my cousin would, like, give me, like, like whatever, whatever extra shoes because they would be spoiled and have, like, old brand new shoes all the time and whatever. But they weren't my size. I used to shove my feet into no. these tinier shoes so that way it wouldn't make fun of me at school. No. And so I can't believe, yeah, that when I was younger, I used to really um, shove my feet into the tiny shoes. And for the sake, for... For for other people's um, so they for the sake of their opinion. You. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I don't do that now. And thank what God, size are you? I'm I'm a ten slash eleven, depending on the shoe. Are you and really? Is, yep. Girl, that does not look like no ten or an eleven. Yes. And you know what's crazy though? Apparently, like uh, there's a million bitches in the world that got a ten slash eleven. Because when I try Hard to buy to cool shoes, shoes, they I'm always sold out in my size first. <laughs> so I'm like, so apparently. I thought I was like a Sasquatch, yeah. but apparently every bitch in the world is <laughs> a Sasquatch, Sasquatch because, or at least all the girls that have my taste in shoes. For sure. The uh, first thing is to be sold out. That's Shout out Dolls Co. because I love shopping on Dolls Co. for shoes and yes. they always sell out. So y'all need to send Leia a package in her shop. Or double stock size 10 and 11, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, yeah, I can't believe I used to do that as a kid. That's hilarious. That's crazy. Well, I love that you outgrew that. <laughs> Um, I'm a little embarrassed by the fact that I know so little about blank. Anime. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I say that to say because I made a song about Sailor Moon and then, granted, I mean, I watched I Sailor Moon. Whole... But I watched, like, I, I, like, I know Sailor Moon. Like, I know Sailor Moon and, like, I watched, like, Death Note. Okay. But, like, I made a song because I was having fun. This is during the pandemic when I wrote it. And I just was like, let me go back and watch Sailor Moon. I haven't seen it since I was, like, a babe. So, like... I went through the whole thing and then just like was having fun, just made a song called Sailor Moon. And then everyone's like, oh, she's a super anime head. I love her because she loves anime. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I like Sailor Moon, um, you know, but I don't know like a whole lot. So like people start going like crazy talking to me about anime and I'm like, what? You're like, I'm not. Hey, I'm new to anime too. I started during the pandemic. Okay. Really, really fuck with it though. I, okay. I have a little more shows in than you do. Okay. But. You should lean into that because even down to like some of your aesthetics gives very much um what's it called uh cosplay. I and I like that. Like I think it's just like I haven't found right like the what show the, yeah, or like yeah. the storyline that like I'm into. Like like Death Note totally had me hooked front to back. Like I finished that. I watched that maybe like Did you entirely. try Attack on Titan? No. You got to try. It. That's probably one of the best ones that's, okay. like, current right now. Okay. And you didn't try... What's the other one that everybody's just been watching? It's on Netflix. Um, yeah, please Demon please. Slayer. No. Okay. That one was it. That one didn't have me, like, all indulged, like, the other one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to send... Okay, yeah, yeah. You. Send, send me some good ones. Um, From time to time, it's good to do blank. <sighs> Just fucking... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> America. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, really. I think sometimes, like, I don't know, this is just me, like, sometimes I think people just talk too much. And I mean, like, even just, like, publicly, socially, like, or it's like, granted, you got something to say. But I don't mean to say it. But sometimes, like, you don't even have nothing. To, you're just talking. Like, just be quiet. I think it's nice sometimes. Just shut up. Shut up. 
I like that. That's a good public service announcement. We need to, we need to do like public service announcements from We Need to Talk, Leia. Sometimes, Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do that again. <laughs> so I'm not in it. Right. Okay. Well, what do I want them to do? Shut up. <laughs> we like. I love that. All right. Um, I made a complete fool of myself when I blinked. When I doubted myself, mm. period, period, I think, I, I, I think the key to things when things started moving for me was when I literally I just stopped like pitying myself and doubting myself, and I stopped comparing myself or the successes or opportunities between me and other people or whatever. Mm. It was like, you know, like I would look at other people. Or other artists that I liked, but I'd be like, well, I mean, that's cool, but like, what about, you know, I'm, I'm fire or whatever. And then it was like, you know, like that voice in my head, like on left, right, go. And it was like, ambition, what you doing to let them know that you fire? Like, what, what have you been doing? I like that. And it was kind of, I had, I had a moment like that where it was like, yeah, what am I doing to let them know <laughs> that I'm cool? Okay. And then I think, yeah, once I kind of like shook that off and I feel like, Thinking like that is like it's kind of like a disease. Like it's like it will really eat it you is, up. It is. It will eat you up. So I think it not only just like not doubt yourself, but like, all right, keep going. If that didn't work too well, do another one. Resilience, do it again yeah. and keep going. So yeah, I, I I felt really foolish when I was when I realized that I was like doubting myself. I love that. Yeah, you overcame that. Mm-hmm. How could you? <laughs> My personality trait is blank. Uh, I feel like <laughs> snort. No, <Nah. laughs> <laughs> nah, but my personality traits. Daffy, what's her personality trait? Right? Y'all, I think y'all should answer this because I feel like. Personality. Personality. Like, if you gave me one. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that's the problem. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's so many. She has too many personalities. She's a Gemini at heart. <laughs> all right well okay uh <laughs> uh awesome is my personality <laughs> trait <laughs> that's right <laughs> just like that awesome okay yeah, we'll, we'll take you yeah uh <laughs> you said <terrible>. what <laughs> yeah oh, terrible um sometimes i look back at my life and blink Sometimes I look back at my life and I feel thankful. I feel really thankful and grateful. Um, I spent almost all of my, like, I guess adult working life until I was doing this professionally, like working in service or, you know, like as a waitress or, you know, a hostess or bottle girl or whatever. And always... Not bottle girl, Leia. Yeah, I did a little, uh, a little one too. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I I think like having those experiences and also even just like growing up in the hood and like being I guess essentially like poor. Like we didn't ha- and, and 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 now that I look at it I realize how poor we were. <laughs> but um <laughs> it's like no but I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at how you said it <laughs> cuz cuz it's like I think especially now in the past couple years I've been traveling and doing all this stuff and you know you start doing you know Hollywood bougie stuff and then you start seeing Hollywood bougie shit and you go wow and then I go back home and I go this place is ghetto like, <laughs> this is so ghetto like my god I didn't realize how ghetto it was here yeah. um so <laughs> uh but I look back at all of that all those experiences and and you know, working service jobs and always being, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and, and you know, li- living and working in New York City and growing up on, you know, taking a train and a bus and, you know, looking at rats and all that stuff, and, yeah, it's crazy, but I look back at it, and I'm thankful for it because um, as I transition and, and go into this new phase of my life and, you know, all this Hollywood bougie shit, um, I can truly appreciate it. And um, I respect, like I was saying earlier, I feel like everyone is important. Yeah. Like when I go play anywhere, somebody holds the door open for me. Oh my god, thank you. 
pull out my chair. You came to pour me some water. Thank you. Yeah. Like, thank you so much. Because I used to be you. I used to do that. Or I used to, you know, and I know, I know what that feels like. And sometimes just being treated like a person. And I feel like it, it, there's, I, I've, you know, I've been on the, on, on the receiving end of, you know, people in the higher ups or people with money and, you know, and the way they kind of live a life and the way they tend to treat other people without realizing. I think um, when I look back at my life and just all the experiences that I've had, um, I'm grateful for them and where I'm taking those experiences with me, where I'm going. Um, and I think, I feel like it makes a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. That's dope. I love that. Thank you. We love seeing you transition, man. Thanks. Yes. I've been seeing it for a few years now. It's really dope. Thank you. You deserve everything good that's coming to you. Bet that out now. Period. Make sure you guys run it up. Shout yes. out to your grandma. Everybody know where they can follow you. You can follow me on anything in the socials on any platform at Leia Face. That's L A Y A Face. Not Layla. Not Laya. Not anything else. Leia Face. Bet that out now. Bet that out now. It's already in your phone. Yes. It's already in your phone. Pull it up it. and turn it up. Thank you. Until next time, guys. Peace. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that lovely conversation. You already know we need to talk for all your exclusive interviews with your favorite artists, celebrities, influencers, etc. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you drop a comment. Show me some love. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. I'm open to criticism. And also, please, whatever you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the latest content that drops when it drops.